Hi everyone, it's Flo from FutiteesAndWall.com and today I am back with this makeup tutorial. You can see it's all about warm tones. And here with some lashes. It's bright but very easy to wear. This is my daytime smoky red look. I'm using today the modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly's. This palette is amazing, this is exactly the tones I love. Now we can uh, go ahead and let's get started. I'm using tempera on all over the lid to even out my lid and it also creates a nice canvas so that the product glides and blends very well. Next I'm using golden ochre onto the lid, here more on the center so that I create a nice transition shade. Now red ochre, which is one of my favorite shades. Uh, this is the main shade that I will be using on this tutorial. I apply the product here onto the lid. You know the drill, when I open up my eyes, we don't see too much product. But I think it helps to create a more wearable look for daytime. Now Real Girl, which is the beautiful Sienna shade. It's almost orange, but still very easy to wear, I find. I use this shade to create a transition between red ochre and golden ochre here onto the lid, like this. Now I'm using this deep brown shade, Cypress Umber, here onto the outer part of my eyes so that it creates nice definition and a smoky effect and I like to extend the product onto the outer part here so that I create the illusion that my eyes are bigger. I'm patting this very beautiful raspberry red shade onto the center of the lid. It creates a nice pop of color and I'm blending all the colors here together. Red ochre again, I use it onto the lower lash line so that we have the same shade onto the top lid and the bottom lid here. And of course we are using this brown shade uh, to join the corners and to have a more smoky effect. And I'm going back with this brown shade onto the outer part to intensify the look. And also always, I blend, blend, blend in between. Now with Vermeer, I use a dense brush like this onto the inner corner of my eyes so that it creates a nice highlight. And I like to use the same highlight shade onto the brow bone, per usual. And of course, some blending afterwards. I'm curling my lashes. I add a coat of mascara. You can see it doesn't create such an impact on my eyes, but uh, it helps, I think, uh, to prevent the eyeshadow to transfer on my lower lid. And I use a Q-tip like this to remove all the excess and to create a nice curl. And as always, I use a mascara on the lower part. Here is the final look, you can see it's smoky and red but still easy to wear even for detail. And here with some lashes, it had a little bit of drama. And for my lips I used a warm tone also and this is also from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the shade Ashton which is a nice sienna color, I love it. I hope you will enjoy this look and if you recreate this look please let me know and uh, I'll see you soon.